Hey guys, today we are going to see what is the eccentricity of a vertex in a graph along with the radius and diameter of a graph. So this is the graph and we want to find out the eccentricity of each vertex in the graph. So before finding out that we will see what is the distance between two vertices in a graph. So what do you mean by distance? So see here, suppose we want to find out the distance between vertex A and vertex F. Okay. So how many paths are there to reach to vertex F? See, one path is this. Okay. So this is one path. Now, what is the second path? Second path is you can take this path right so either you go a b d f or you go a b c d f a b c d f right so these are the two paths now for this path a b d f what is the distance c 1 2 and 3 so distance is 3 for a b d f and for a b c d f what is the distance c 1 2 3 and 4 so 4 is the distance right so here you have to opt for distance 3 because this is the shortest path so whenever i refer to the term distance that means that is the shortest path distance. So distance of a comma b that means that is the distance between a and b if we take the shortest path. So distance means the shortest path distance. Okay. So this is very important for understanding the eccentricity of a vertex. So now let's find out the eccentricity of a vertex. Now suppose we want to find out the eccentricity of A. So let's clear this. So eccentricity of a vertex is the maximum distance between that vertex and all other vertices. See maximum distance between that vertex suppose that vertex is a and all other vertices in the graph so maximum of them so now how to find out eccentricity of a so see here first find out the distance between a to b so what is the distance for a to b so the distance for a to b is one because there is only one edge then distance for A to C. So what is that distance A to C? That is 2. C. For distance from A to C, you have to take the shortest path. Okay. Not the long path. You can also take this path. But you should not take. You always have to take the shortest path. Right. That is the distance. Now. Again, distance from A to D. So, what is the distance? Shortest path A, B, D. So, 2. Distance from A to E. So, that distance is 1, 2, 3. And distance from A to F. So, what is the distance C? 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3. So the distance is 3. A to F is 3. So these are the distances from A to all other vertices. And the maximum of these distances is the eccentricity of vertex A. So I will say it as maximum of this. Okay, Maximum of these distances. So, max distance between A to all other vertices. So, here is the demonstration. 
so now eccentricity of a will be what is the maximum distance here that is 3 so eccentricity of a is 3 okay so this is how we find out the eccentricity now let's go for radius and diameter of a graph we can find out the radius and diameter of a graph by using the eccentricity so this was eccentricity of a okay this is one vertex now let's find out eccentricities for all other vertices so i will note down here eccentricity of a is 3 now let's go for next vertex b so i want to find out eccentricity of b so max of now this distance of b to all other vertices so what is the distance from b to a that is 1 distance of b to c that is 1 distance of b to d that is 1 distance of b to e b to e is 2 then distance of b to f what's the distance that is also 2 so what is the maximum distance here that is 2 so eccentricity of b is 2 okay that is the eccentricity of b let's find out the eccentricity of c so max of c distance of c to a what is the distance that is 2 then distance of c to b what is the distance that is 1 distance of c to d what is the distance c to d 2 or 1 that should be 1 because we have to take the shortest path so that is 1 distance of c to e that is 2 and distance of c to f that is also 2 so what is the maximum of them what is the maximum this is 2 so e eccentricity of c is also 2 okay now let's go for eccentricity of d so i'll write it here for eccentricity of d max of c distance of d to a d to a what is the distance d to a that is 2 then distance of d to b that is 1 distance of d to c that is also 1 because you have to take the shortest path distance of d to e is 1 and distance of d to f that is also 1 so what's the eccentricity of d that is 2 because maximum is 2 now for radius and diameter you have to find out the eccentricities of all vertices at first so what are the remaining vertices only e and f are remaining now so let's find out for them i will write it here so now eccentricity of e so max of c distance of e to a first at first a so what's that distance 1 2 3 so 3 distance of e to b e to b so what is the distance that is 2 then distance of e to c e to c so that is 2 then distance of e to d that is 1 and distance of e to f e to f that is 2 so what's the maximum out of them that is 3 so eccentricity of e is 3 right then now last and final eccentricity of f so let's find out the distances distance of f comma a 1 2 3 then distance of f comma b so 
what is the distance f to b that is 2 distance of f to c f to c so that is 2 distance of f to d f to d is 1 and f to e is also 1 okay what's the maximum that is 3 so eccentricity of f is 3 so these are the eccentricities of all vertices so this is done now so now a radius is the minimum of these eccentricities whatever is the minimum distance out of these eccentricities that is called as the radius of the graph so minimum is the radius okay minimum out of this what is the minimum that is 2 so radius of this graph is 2 and maximum out of these eccentricities is the diameter so what is the max out of these distances that is 3 so diameter of this graph is 3 so see here what can be the definition of radius of a graph so that is the minimum of the eccentricities of all vertices and what can be the definition for diameter maximum of the eccentricities of all the vertices that is the diameter of the graph so these are the two units of a graph that we have seen here now about the distance so we have many algorithms for finding out the distance between two vertices shortest path distance between two vertices here there are very less vertices but if there are thousands of vertices in a graph we cannot find it manually we need those algorithms so we have to use those programs for finding out distances between two vertices okay we will see those algorithms in further videos. Thank you. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.